Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this video. So, as you can see behind me, right our boat, and, right and, we have all of the canopy down, including the bimney top. That's the first time that we've had that part down since we've owned this boat. Well, basically, we've got it down so that we, well, dunk at least, anyway. It's been scrubbing light in between the windows because they're quite mucky. So yeah, so he's he's been slaving away doing that, bless him. But uh, yeah, so we've been doing that and trying to pamper the boat a little bit before we head out. Look at him working away there. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm not leaving all the work to Doug. I am doing some stuff myself, as you can see. I'm cleaning the inside of the windows. I've already done the outside with this. So, we've now got Bimby Top back up again. Windows are all sorted and looking great. I think all that's left to do now is fire her up. So, here we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So, you find us out on the main river, the River Buell. Um, we turn starboard, so, so right, out of our cut. We're now heading towards Braden Water. That's, that's going to be our destination for today. Braden Water and back again. So, a wee bit of a voyage, but we should be, we should be all right. Um, we have got the tide working with us because it's currently going out as we're heading downstream and then when we will be going back to our mooring so we'll be heading upstream um, the tide will be coming in so yeah so we've got the tide with us but just generally the weather today it is gorgeous take a look at this right take a look at this the water is so still the sun's out. It's really quite hot as well. It's probably about 20 degrees ish, give or take. And also, right, also, I'm wearing shorts out in public for the first time in 2022. So there we go. There is the third mouth. How are we doing, Dunk? Yep, cool. So you get in there finally. We. I'm going to get a picture of that. So I've brought you back to show you just how little there is on the river. Look at that. There's practically nothing behind us. There's one, maybe two boats ahead, one of which is going next to us now. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's calm, it's peaceful and it's quiet out on the river today. Very nice, very nice indeed. Um, as you can probably tell, the sun is out and shining at the moment which is very rather nice although the wind seems to keep picking up a bit especially when the sun go, goes behind the clouds and then it does get a wee bit chilly but yeah when the sun's out it is glorious today absolutely fantastic loving it loving it loads um dunks playing around with his lenses on his camera and there's boat with a ginormous Scottish flag ahead. Um, not quite sure how I feel about that. Let me just spin you guys around to show you that. There you are. And uh, I'd also, also just like to take this opportunity to point out that you may or may not be seeing, noticing a little bit of a difference in this video. I don't know. I mean, it, it's going to be 4K. Um, but then we have got a couple other 4K videos on the channel. The main reason why this video is 4K is because I'm using a brand new 4K camcorder. Now there is going to be a video about it coming out in a few days time. When that is out there will be a pop-out banner in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. A bit bobbed and bobbing there. Um, yeah, there will be a pop-out banner which will take you straight to that video um, where basically I just talk through, I talk through, you know, what it can do, what it is, show you it. And yeah, but this is this is the first um, video that we're doing using this 4K camcorder, so hope you like it. Upton Dyke. Yep, there we go. Just uh, 
is passing up to Dyke there. Dunk's doing his photography stuff. So he's probably going to write down that we've passed up to Dyke in our lovely little log book. As you can see, yep, there we go. As you can see, we're using a Family 3 TV pen on board, of course. There we go. Lovely stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Right now, we're actually bobbing quite manically because there's an idiot in a aircraft. Well, it's now just gone round the corner. He was absolutely bobbing it along and he was right over our side of the river as well. So we went past him and flipped a bit and we were bobbing like mad. But um, yeah, other than that, the water is actually really nice and calm. I mean, if I show you, if I show you forward, and there you go, look at that. That's lovely. Hey, oh, what's he got? It's that little clip on microphone. Ah, wee oui, wee. Oui. Lovely stuff. What? I don't know, I'm expecting you to say something. I know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say thank you to the travel trolls. Because I met them Sunday, yeah, almost a week ago. And that two, two fantastic, wonderful people. If you haven't checked out Travel Trolls TV, you need to go it, do it and subscribe because they're really wonderful people and they have loads of fun and they've asked people to subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you? It doesn't cost you anything, just a bit of your time. And press that subscribe button because we need the subscribers, please. Thank you. Great stuff. Yeah. So, as you can see, we are now approaching Ankle Bridge. And well, that, that boat in front of us there is an ex hire craft. And you can really hear that engine growling away, can't you? Perhaps it's not quite... Oh no, you can still hear it from where you guys are, but yeah, that's that's got a really deep, growly engine. Eeyore, check out this stealth-looking boat that we're just passing now. Look at that. That's a weird looking thing. Bet that's expensive as well. Ooh. Nice bit of kit though, I'm sure, but yeah, that is that is really quite weird. <laughs> look at that. Just give you just give you a little look around what else is what else is down this way. Oh by the way, that X higher craft that we that we were following. That's them back there. There we are. <laughs> yeah. We're absolutely motoring along. It's not because like we've got the hammer down away. I mean if I show you this, the rev counter is sitting on the equivalent to the engine doing five mile per hour. But we're definitely doing more than five mile per hour because we've got the tide working with us. Oh and there's there's the dredger boat. Instead of cut in all canal, we've got a put in all a panel. Um, now the reason why I'm saying this to you is that if you have a look at it, the P's kind of worn away. So although it's the wrong spelling for it, it, it does kind of say anal on our dashboard now. <laughs> anal really, but he likes anal. Oh. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> I'm getting that bit out. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. What, cut anal? <laughs> My god! That is well punchy. Yeah, definitely need to cut that bit out. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Perhaps <laughs> he does, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't. <laughs> oh, dear. Stokes Bay! Yee! Oh no, we got to Stokes Bay, we got to the ferry boat. There we go, sign for Stokes Bay. We're now coming into Stokesby, hence the sign. Um, none of us have an anal, that's good. And then, yeah, so this, this is Stokesby just here. Um, so this, this is pretty much as far as we've been down river, or down the river view in this boat. So it is this bay here that is one of our favorite fishing spots just here. That's a place that we tend to go fishing, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he's behind me. Yeah. Hello. Cheers. And then there's 
there's top pork just behind that building and the white for blade and oh my god there's someone turning around that's fun and there we have it we're now leaving Stokesby behind us just gonna pop it up to 12,000 rpm there we go which usually equates to 5 mile per hour, but it's probably more like 6, which is alright because we're in a 6 mile per hour zone and there's, there's barely any bugger about to be honest. Lovely. Water is still nice and calm. Yep, the, the weather's not too bad. Bit of a chilly wind, but it, it really isn't that bad to be honest. We're enjoying ourselves. Hopefully you wonderful people are enjoying yourselves. And uh, yeah, it's great to be out to water. So you find me on the aft seating bench, as you can see, I've got the red duster behind me, however we've also got a new, a new pennant as well, check this out, got an RYA flag, now technically that should be gold because Dunk at least is an RYA gold member, but just for now we've got this one and that looks very very nice, got a brand new flagpole which we attached today and it's one of these where we can like have it on this bar we could have it on one of the sides or we could even mount to a pennant on the front there got a variety of different options and that's that's one of the main reasons why I wanted that that type of um, pole but yeah anyway where's about so we now then Captain Dunk uh, we're about halfway to Yarmouth. Well, actually, we're over. The Stokes Street for us is about halfway, isn't it? Yeah. And we're way the other side of that. Stokes Street is way behind us. Um, there's a pub on the Acre Strait, um, and we've passed that. And there is another building here, which is a bit further up, past the Hound Gate turn, which you can see on the road over there. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, you can actually see the sign over there, yeah, because yeah. you've got the A47 is down, whoop, yeah, it's down at that dip. Straight. So, as you should be able to see over there, there's a few vehicles driving along there. That is the A47, that's the Acle Strait. Now, if you ever drive along there and you see a boat which looks like it's floating, it's not, alright? It's basically because um, it's basically because the A47, or the Acle Strait at least, is actually below sea level. So that's why it looks like the boats are floating. It's not, it's just that the road is lower than the river. Yeah, there you go, you can see some cars going along there. That's the Acle Strait. That's probably about as close as we're going to get to it. Yeah. Certainly on the way. Yeah. There you go. Kind of weird seeing it from this perspective. <laughs> Look at that. You know how I've mentioned in this video quite a few times actually that it's very rather calm and quiet? Yeah, well, it's still quite quiet as far as there's not really many boats about. But look at the water. Now that now that we're getting closer to the coast, it is still got it is starting to get a little bit choppy. Look at that. Woo! And you could definitely you can definitely feel the boat kind of chugging a little bit more now as it's going through this. We'll get more bob to bobbing as we when we get onto brain water, won't we? Oh yeah, it's starting to get a bit cooler now as well. Yeah, that's the other thing. Saying that though, the sun's starting to come out, but um, you can see by the state of the water um, as we're getting closer to Yarmouth, and it feels like the boat's ploughing now. Yeah. So, uh, you can also, if you just look around the side here, you can also see just how much the tide fluctuates here. Yeah. 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 The tide is stronger the closer the closer you oh, get yeah. to the coast. To be fair, but we haven't got that far to go. No. Yeah, because we, we passed Rudham Church quite a wee while yeah, ago. Margaret's. We passed that. So I'd imagine we're right at the bottom of Rudham Marshes now, and we won't be far away from Bure Park. I wouldn't have thought. Sea case, the water tower. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to pick Jump it up from here. The now. Uh, so yeah, that's back there, and then yeah. a couple of boats, both of which we've overtaken like a pro, obviously. No, we you, you overtook the captain now. Oh, right, yeah. 
Yeah, well, we still haven't had this thing up to full yet, and it, no. but even when we open it up a bit, it's like, whoo! But yeah, when we get onto Braden Water, I want to open this up to max. I think Braden Water, we're going to need it, to be honest. It's going to be fun. Uh, more so coming away from Great Yarmouth, if we're going up either up the Waveney or up the Yair, we'll definitely need it then to get up there, because we're still, well, low tide, what's on me now? Uh, but uh, 14.02 we are now, and low tide's not till 14.30. So we've got the advantages of the tide head over the down the river. So we'll go across Braden Water, but the tide will be uh, working against us. We're going to turn round, we've got slack water until half three, and then uh, take the flood tide from half three to help us get back up the river. That's the plan. Yeah, what he said. Yeah, if it works out, it'll be good. Yep. If it doesn't, then... Okay. You just swore! You can edit that bit out, what's the problem? So, as you can see, Dunk is catching some rays on the aft bench. <laughs> Look at him there, chilling, relaxing in the sun, while I'm up here slaving away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hardly slaving away, to be fair, it's, it's quite nice. Yeah. We're not really caning it either, I remember we're still. Yeah. Bit resistance, that's the wind. Look out the back there, flip there. Yeah, you can definitely feel this thing kind of go chug to chug to chug to chug as it's, as it's up against the wind. How is it still on 1100? Uh, 12,000. Wait, no. Yeah. Oh, it works. I think. Is it still not? It's not straining. Not at all. That's 1200 is what I mean. Yeah. I know what I mean. Yeah, we're absolutely flying. Yeah. As you can tell, we're vibing to some music at this point, because why not? There's another boat over there. Flipping heck. We haven't seen another boat for quite a while, to be fair. Minutes. Jeez. What's... What's going to be playing now, I wonder? Oh, yeah. Here we go, here we go. Whoa, sometimes I get a good feeling. Yeah. I get a feeling that I've never, 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 never had before. Oh, I get a feeling. Yes. <laughs> We've not long passed under those bridges. We're now just going to head underneath this lift one. And then it'll be out onto Braden Water properly, won't it? Yep. This is currently sat on 1200 RPM, which is supposed to be five mile an hour, but you can definitely feel this thing is yeah. struggling with speed a little bit now. But we'll get onto Braden Water and we'll open her up to put, max. Put, uh, put the hammer down a little bit as well now. So, just passed under the bridge and it is now time to get this boat up to max. Here we go. There we are. Woo -hoo -hoo! Flip bear, heck, look at that. That is a great feeling. That is fantastic. Woohoo! She's definitely at max at this point. The rev count is stopping just a tad shy. 2000 RPM. Decent puff of smoke, definitely a diesel-y, oily type smell. This is fantastic! Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that! Oh, I'm in my element. Keep up with us. Just look at that. Okay, we're now on Braden Water. We're going to start to go across it. This is uh, Braden Water. As long as our stays between the green and the red posts, we should be okay. If he goes outside of those, then we're going to end up on the mud flats, which we won't be doing because he's not that stupid. It's just really nice being out here. Uh, it's nice and sunny today. You see the mud flats, etc. 
It looks really nice. He's, he's obviously having a bit of a, a wave about at the moment, but there's the main channel between the posts going down. Okie dokie. So, we've come a little way along Braden Water and we are now, we have now turned around, we're going back. We've got about five minutes-ish before the tide starts coming in again, but yeah, currently it's slack water and we're heading, heading back towards Yarmouth again. Um, we did, we did have a wee bit of a scare because um, after I ended the recording, I then started doing a bit of a bit of cornering and the revs decreased to 1800 for a little while and I was like yeah okay that's all right but then suddenly they started decreasing further so I pulled the throttle back to ease it off and then boom it shot down to zero engine died so it's kind of like we're on grade of water and uh, the engine's died it's been like old bombings really but yeah we, we started her up again and then got going again and it's she's doing all right to be fair the temperature did shoot up to close to 180 but it is very slowly getting the, going down now it's definitely going down and uh, yeah we've got the revs we've got the revs set at 1500 or there or there and bounce but yeah that, that was a bit scary when that happened truth be told but she's all right she'll be fine just need to look after her that's all but uh yeah you can see out there. That's uh, cruising in front of us. You just see Yarmouth and the Braden Bridge just, just ahead. As long as we stay between the green posts, which you can see now on the left hand side of the port side, and then uh, the red posts, which are now off on the starboard side, as long as we stay in the middle here, we'll be fine. Uh, there's a number of boats as you can see. Um, Ahead of us we're enjoying quite a speedy passage if you look at that red marker post there the speed that we are flying down here that is to do with the tide but the tide is that we're, well, we're at slack should be slack water at Galston at 1530 and then the tide starts to push this tide will come in and start pushing us up the river at the moment we're flying down the river as Al says I'm going to turn you around so we can look up Braden Water now. This is going out to Borough Castle over there. And then we're going back. And you can see uh, Braden Water itself. That's it all up there. It's a fascinating little place. Yeah. Over there. And now going back to Captain Al. And just belong beyond Captain Al. You may be able to see the water tower over at Caister. If you look behind us, you can see our friends that we overtook not that long. Okay. Just going to swing it round. I say friends, we don't know them, but call them friends. Oh, it's all right, yeah. Yeah, we, we passed them going up. Yeah. And we're passing exactly. them going down. Don't know what they're doing, but never mind. Well, we're not exactly hammering it. Still, never mind. Just looking at all these white things out here, neither of us have a clue what they are. So if any, if any of you guys know what they are, then please do let us know in the comments area. But uh, yeah, but I don't really doesn't make sense. But anyway, yeah, so then you've also got Dunk just chilling at the aft there, soaking up some rays. It's a first proper chance I have, but the wind's a bit. Yeah, you definitely got that cool coastal breeze. Yeah. But in the sun, if you're out of the way of the wind, then it's it's okay, quite nice. Yeah. So this is River Bure that we're back on now. If I take you just down here, and I'll show you that we're we're sat on 1200 RPM. Nothing major, you know. The temperature is still going down just a wee bit. Which is, you know, which is a healthy thing that is going down just, just marginally, and uh, yeah, we're having a good time. So, believe it or not, you actually find me sat at the aft catching a few rays. This is the first time in the about eight months in which we've owned this boat. That I've sat on the back seat in the sunshine. I actually closed my eyes and, and just got super relaxed. Like it's. 
it's a fantastic feeling. Why have I not done this before? You know, I can I can see why Doug loves doing this. But don't get me wrong, I love doing my helmet stuff, right? But but you just sit at the back here in the sunshine because the sun is it's actually up there. It's actually out. I'm actually in the sunshine. I've had to put a cardigan on. I was getting that cold, but yeah, I'm, I'm warming up now. Oh, I'm feeling so relaxed. Leave me to it. This is one of the first times that Doug has done an overtake. Look at that. But hey, cool. It actually feels weird being a passenger and being overtaken. Or overtaking, sorry, should I say. What's that saying on? Despite being sat on 1500 RPM, it'll be an overtaken look. Or, well, at least someone's trying to overtake us. Um, yeah. You know, both times, both times that this boat's been overtaken since we've owned it, you've been at the helm. <laughs> yeah, just saying. Well, no, no, I mean, I don't mind, but yeah, I'm just, I'm at the off just kind of chilling, you know. I'll, I'll bring you guys back here. Woo, look at this. Well, hey, hey, hey. Look at that. Anyway, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll pop you guys... Oh, flip. The sun's on the other side now. We have to sit over this side. Kill. Kill. Liberties. Ah. That didn't happen. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, so... As long as I don't... As long as I don't catch my head on that, should be alright. can use my hood as a bit of a cushion. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's a good time. I am loving being sat back here and chilling. I honestly did not know just how nice it is. <sighs> at this point, I really am taking chilling to a whole new level. Look at me lying down there. It is, it's just so nice to, to lie down in the sun, catch some rays. Hear the water going out the back there. The engine noise isn't too intrusive at all, really. It's pleasant. It really is pleasant. You now find me back at the helm. I I really really enjoyed the time that I spent on the aft um, on the aft bench. Just catching a few rays, chilling. You know that was that was so nice. Honestly, just being there, closing your eyes, soaking up the sunshine, listening to the water, um, feeling the motion of the boat, and even even the engine noise isn't too intrusive at all. You know, it's it's absolutely fabulous. I love doing that. I think I think I needed that to be honest. Because although although it has overall been a very nice day out on the water. Had a couple of had a couple of stressful points here and there, but um, yeah, things are things are good. I'm feeling really relaxed now. I'm continuing to soak up the sun because it's now actually coming through the side here as well. So you know, yes. Um, don't actually put a jumper on to be fair, but I'm now I'm now getting hot with this on. So so here we are on Duck Road means it's going to be time to moor up pretty soon. Right. Actually, it is pretty soon. <laughs> pretty soon. Right, I'm going to get in nice and close.
Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. And click here to subscribe. Don't forget to check out this other great video. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.